Right guys, um, here we are back on the Cushman. Uh, I made a little modification. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Now this is truly a cold start. Um, not since last weekend. I keep telling you guys I'll get it working, running, come back to it. It's like it's haunted. It won't work again. So purely um, straight off, absolutely cold. Um, no choke, we're on uh, the fuel pump with a modification, a return, with a fuel pump with a return on it to lessen the pressure against the carburetor. Maybe that was a problem with the surging, but uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and try it without the choke first, and we'll see where we go. And then I'll show you what I've done here. You watch it not work now. We'll fire on one. <laughs> okay, fuel pump. It's about 37 degrees. Not pulsing at idle. It would die at idle on the pump straight. Just get a little heat into it. At this point, normally we'd have uh, the fuel pump overriding the carburetor and flooding one side out and then uh, partially sparking, uh, coughing out uh, smoke. It seems to have taken away the uh, pulsing issue. Definitely firing on, on both. Here, I'll show you what we did. This is the line back to the tank at the, t at the top, so it's not feeding off the bottom. That's running relatively well. No smoke, nothing. Now it's down at right at idle. Turn it off, we'll talk about it for a minute. Yeah, run on. It's 
it's got some mass down there that it's turning over so okay um, so this would look like part of the problems that we're having were that the fuel pump even though it was a 2.5 to 4 was overriding the float and needle and I tried I'm putting a, a tank in up here because I was going to try and feed it drop feed it instead of uh, pushing from the tank down here but that looks as though that may well be the answer um, the when the float when the pump fills the carb <clears throat> it locks off the back pressure is enough that now it doesn't override the float and it drops back down get your filming right there come on it drops back down to the tank and that pulse in is gone um, it's just a simple filter with a return um, that's 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 pretty much this year probably the best other than when it's warm when it's warm here let's do this no pedal When it's relatively warm, no problem. But um, starting up and idling cold, flooding the plugs out, probably was, I had one bad coil, that's for definite, but uh, the coil issue wasn't the major one. The plug issue wasn't the major one. It's probably the pressure, even though it's a really low pressure uh, fuel pump down there. Can you see it? Down there. That's a 2.5 to 4. Still enough to override. I mean, uh, I've been trying to find out uh, what the diaphragm pulse pump pressure was on um, the original Predator. I've read all kinds of different stuff. I don't think anybody really knows. This needs to be tested, but it's sure as heck not, you know, 3, 4 pounds or something like that. It's probably more down by the 1.5 or something like that. And I tried finding out on the carburetor what the actual pressure was um, for the carburetor to override, you know, what it's expecting. What is it expecting in fuel pressure? I got an odd feeling that this is knocking this down. It's just a pure guess. Don't comment on it. Pure guess. I'm going to guess it's knocking it down to the less than two pounds per square inch. Um, and that's allowing this to work properly. Um, I'll try and find <laughs> I'll try and find a different project to start working on. I've got enough videos on this. But um that's a kind of a bit of a breakthrough for this, seeing as how long it's been I've been working on it. Um, um you guys have a good day. Take it easy. See you later. Merry Christmas. Bye.